CNN reporter Natasha Chen. And Natasha's in Marathon. Describe for our viewers, Natasha, what life is like there tonight. It's very desolate. It, it looks like a city that's quiet, that has a lot of destruction and debris on the sides of the road. You can probably see what's behind me. This is some of the oceanfront property that has been completely ripped through. I mean, we are seeing parts of people's dining chairs and, and lawn chairs through their walls, what used to be their walls. In the distance, I actually see somebody who's standing outside what could be his home. There are some people who decided to stay here. And of course, they have no water, no power, no cell phone service at the moment. So they do have the choice to leave if they would like. But as you've mentioned in your other reports, there is a roadblock here. Residents are not allowed back in just yet. So if they leave, there's no telling when they can come back. And that's a concern for them. A lot of the folks who did evacuate at the time are at that roadblock talking to the law enforcement officers. They're very, very frustrated. I can just imagine, Natasha, and I've been talking to a lot of people there. What's the message survivors of the storm are trying to get out? You know, right now they are just trying to make it day by day. Uh, one of the survivors told one of our crews that he's able to take a shower by using his hose, but it's dirty water. Uh, so it, it really is sort of a calculation at this point, whether how, how long they stay here, how, when is their breaking point when they decide to go into parts of Florida with power so that they can take care of themselves, they can make phone calls, uh, but there's no telling when they are able to return here. Are supplies getting to them? I'm sorry, what was that again? Are supplies getting to them, water and food? There, there are attempts to get those to them. I actually, on our way down here today, we saw some public trucks uh, going in the opposite direction. So it seems like they are trying to reopen some of the uh, grocery stores around here. We also saw lots of uh, telecommunications utilities, trucks, as your other crews have seen, AT&T crews, Verizon crews, they're being escorted by law enforcement to sort of help expedite their journey to parts of the state that really, really need the most help. Um, based on our experience of having been here a few days, it looks like the, the cell service with both AT&T and Verizon seem to be a little bit improved even from yesterday. So I think it, it is small improvements bit by bit. That'll be a big step forward. Natasha Chen reporting from Marathon. Thank you very much, Natasha.